Hello, welcome to this week's Express class. So we're working on glutes this month, so we're going to make it a little bit harder than last week. What we're going to need for this class is, now we don't use much equipment, but if you have a roller, it would be great. If you don't have a roller, that's no problem, but just with the roller, we're going to make it harder straight away on last week. If you don't have a roller, you can use a bottle of water, plastic bottle of fizzy water, something like that, a plastic pipe, or if you really have a football, but that can be a little bit harder again. So if you have a roller, let's go and grab that. So, get onto the hands and knees, we're going to warm the hips up first, loosen them up. So, onto the hands and knees, we're just going to increase the internal rotation and back in. So, we're not going to look to the side today, we're just going to get the foot coming in as far as you can and try to see the foot just in your peripheral vision, right at the very end. So, really work on twisting that foot out as far as you can, keeping the knee planted on the mat, coming in as wide as you can. One last one each side, left foot out, back in. Right foot out, back in. Perfect. We're going to stretch the glutes. We're going to come into a bit of external rotation. So we're going to bring the right foot underneath the body. If you can get the heel up nice and high, you can go higher than that, even better. I'm a little bit stiff. And then just lie down onto the mat, just gently sinking into it. And you're going to use your body weight to stretch out the piriformis. So you can feel, see my heel is slipping down bit by bit. So keep it up nice and high. And bring that left hip and left shoulder down towards the mat and get a good stretch into the back of the right hip, into the piriformis and the glutes. Bring the right leg back, this time we're going to bring the left leg across the body, left heel up as high as you can, right leg straight back and then just lie down onto the mat and sit back onto the mat so you're going to bring the knee higher up towards your chest. If you come forward you take the stretch off, but try to work your way back towards the back of the mat and get a good stretch into that left hip, into the deep external rotators, so your piriformis there. It's a strange one, you stretch your external rotators by bringing your foot into external rotation and up into flexion, your hip into external rotation and into flexion. So what happens is you wind the muscle around, it gets caught around the bones, it's stretched in a different way. Perfect. And then bring the left leg back and then turn over onto your back. So, rest down onto the mat, rest the head onto our head blocks, hands by the side, and just a few warm up ones for the glutes. So, roll the pelvis back, lift the hips up off the mat, and then roll back down. Perfect. And roll the pelvis back again, bring the rib cage down, lift the hips nice and high, squeezing the abs nice and tight all the time. Hips back down. Roll the pelvis back, draw the ribs down, scoop the pelvis up. One vertebrae after the next as it lifts up. Bring the pelvis back down. Nice smooth moves. One last one, arch the back. Imprint, ribs down. Relax the shoulders, chin is tucked in. Scoop the hips up nice and high. Straight line from the knees through the hips to the shoulders. Don't push up at the right end. Don't hold a little arch in the back. Nice straight down the top, squeezing the abs. And then lower the pelvis down. One vertebrae after the next. So, if you have your rotor, we're going to grab that, place it between the, leg, between the legs, two feet on top of the roller now. And we're going to imprint the spine, hands by the side, lift the hips up, and then back down. And again, scoop the hips up, the exact same movement. Coming to the very top, you're going to come a little bit higher because the feet are raised. So you're going to do a little bit more weight higher up on the shoulders. And back down. Good. Four. Lift the hips. And then back down. Remember, exaggerate that imprint. Roll the hips back. Lift the hips nice and high. And then back down. We're halfway there. Draw the ribs down. Lift the hips. Lower the hips back down. And keep the shoulders relaxed. So hands are by the side. You're using them for a little bit of balance. So you don't roll off the roller. Up. Back down. Good. Two more. Back down, shoulders relaxed. You start to notice you build a little bit of tension into the shoulders. Try to let them sink back into the mat and rest the hands down. Good. Next one we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of stability away. Start to transfer a little bit more pressure to the lateral glutes, the medial thighs, and also the core muscles as well. So what we're going to do, hands on the ribs, draw the ribs down, get a bit of better sensation feedback as you do this. Lift the hips and back down. We're going to go for 10 again. So again, scoop the hips, lift up nice and high, straight line from the knees to the shoulders at the very top. 
draw the ribs down, lift the hips, and use the hands this time to make sure at the very top you're pushing up with the hips, so you're not letting the ribs pop out at the end. So keep the ribs drawn in, and put all the pressure to the glutes and to the hamstrings. So if you feel the hamstrings starting to be a little bit tight, the glutes are getting a little bit tired, and the hamstrings are starting to do a little bit of the work, which we don't want to happen. But as long as they're not cramping, it's fine. And bit by bit, as we do more, the glutes are going to get stronger. We're going to take the pressure from the hamstrings and we're going to stabilize our pelvis a lot better. Draw the ribs down, lift the hips, lower down. One last one, have the feet in nice and close to the hips. Lift the hips up and then back down. As you bring the feet in closer, you notice there's more work to the glutes and less in the hamstrings. Last one, the two legs. Hands across the chest this time. Shoulders back and down, so push the elbows down towards the feet, imprint the spine, lift the hips, and lower down. Good. Keep the elbows in nice and tight to the ribs as you come up, and again, you notice then if you're pushing your ribs to the ceiling instead of getting the work through the glutes. But as you do that, don't round your shoulders. Keep your shoulders back towards the mat, and the elbows squeezed in. Perfect. And then back down. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Lifting the hips nice and high, and back down. Four more to do. Lift, and lower. Last three. Make sure it's nice, smooth, straight movements up towards the ceiling. Back down. Last two. Drop the shoulders back, and down. Push the elbows towards the feet. Scoop the hips. Lift the hips nice and high. Keep the rib cage down. Slowly onto the mat and then rest down. Perfect. Good. Bring the roller in nice and close to the hips. We're going to bring the hands back down onto the mat. This time the left foot goes on the roller. You roll the roller slightly to the left side of the body. Right knee to the chest. Lift the hips up and back down. One, two. Hands by the side. Keep the shoulders dropped back. Three. Good. Four. Nice smooth movements. Five. Six, halfway there. Seven, try and keep the pressure evenly across the left and right shoulders. Eight, and remember the right knee comes in an arc overhead. It doesn't reach up towards the ceiling. Ten, and back down. But imagine that knee coming in an arc this direction, keeps the pelvis tilted back and stops you lifting from the low back muscles. If the knee reaches to the ceiling, the hip extends and the low back extends as well. So right foot onto the rubber, hands by the side, left knee into the chest, lift and lower. The knee doesn't have to be too tight to the chest, just bring it in and lower down. Good. Three. So what we're incorporating now, a little bit of balance. We're working the lateral hip muscles a lot more, the medial thigh muscles, the core muscles. When we do it on one leg, we're doubling the weight through that leg. So it makes it a little bit harder. We also don't have the glutes on the left, working with the adductors on the right to create balance. So it forces more work onto the weaker adductor muscles, stops the glutes from taking all the pressure. And then as well, one of the best benefits of doing the single leg is you see an asymmetry between the left and the right side. So you usually find people come in and they say the left side is a weak side, they can get a lot of injuries on that side. It's because that side should be a little bit weaker than the right. The body assumes the right side can do it, so the left side should be able to do it as well. It makes the left side do as much work as the right, and then the left side picks up little injuries. One last one, imprint, lift the hips up, lower the hips down, and then rest back down. Good. Perfect. Leave the roller down and out to the side. Last one we're going to do, we're going to bring the knee in nice and tight to the chest. So we're going to do a little hip lift where we put all the pressure onto the glutes and take the back totally out of it. So draw the knee in nice and tight, lift, and lower. One, two, three, four. Keep the knee in tight. Five, so it's a very small lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, one last one, ten. And back down. So what we're doing, we're working the inner range of the glutes where the fibers really overlap and get very tight. We're just strengthening that range of the muscle. 
So drop the shoulder blades back, left knee to the chest, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, smooth moves, three, two, one, last one, one, and then back down. Perfect. Rest the feet down. We're going to turn on to our side, so whichever side you want first. I'm going to spend the last four or five minutes. We're going to work on our adductors on the outside. We're going to work the inner range of them today, and we're going to work our side planks. So push the left heel down as far away from the body as you can. Lift the leg up as high as you can, keeping the left pelvis directly over the right. So as you lift that left foot up, make sure the pelvis is in tilt. Make sure that the left hip doesn't come up towards the left shoulder. So keep pushing the heel away from the body. Toes pointing straight forward, 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push the heel away, seven, eight. Keep the foot nice and high, 10 and rest the leg back down. So you have the feet sweep slightly forward to the front of the mat. Next one, 10 circles clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Push that left heel away, top leg as high as you can. 10 circles, one, toes pointing forward the whole time, two, three, make sure the pelvis doesn't rock forward and back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep the heel nice and high, 10, change directions, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, don't let the heel drop, four, push the heel away from the body, three, two, one, and rest the leg down. As you run through them, the moves become less smooth, more jittery, and I want you to know as you really start to work that muscle in that inner range, especially the glute meat. So it's really important for keeping your pelvis level when you walk down the street so the one hip doesn't drop as you pick the foot up. So it's really important from the lateral side of stabilizing the pelvis. We're gonna rest the head down on the opposite side, back along the back of the mat, feet sweeping forward as always, a little bend of the hips. We're gonna lift the top leg up, toes pointing forward, 10 pulses. Two, three, four, push the heel away, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Rest the leg down. Remember, this time, as we do the circles, we don't want the pelvis to come forward and back. We wanna keep it as still as possible. Push that left leg away, sorry, right leg this time, <laughs> right leg away, lift the heel up, toes pointing forward, and circles, one, two, make sure the heel is high, three, four, remember it's harder on this side, five, six, because it's already been stabilizing into the mat, seven, eight, nine, ten, change directions, ten, nine, eight, keep the heel nice and high, seven, six, it'll be a little jittery this way, because this is the weaker direction, we always tend to go the direction we favor, keep the heel up, three, push the heel away, two, one, and rest the leg down onto the mat. Bring the heels back to the back of the mat. We're gonna come up into our side plank. We're gonna try the full length today. So straighten the legs out, pinch the shoulders back. We're gonna go for 10 lifts. And we're gonna to switch to the other side. One, and back down. Two, and down. Three, good. Four, straight line through the body, down through the legs. Five, six, pinch the shoulder blades. Seven, eight, try not to twist the body as you come up. Keep the pelvis facing forward the whole time. One last one, and hold. 10, nine, eight, six, four, two, one, and rest the pelvis down, and flip over onto the opposite side. Last ones, we're nearly there. Elbow directly below the shoulder again. Straight line all the way down the body. First thing, lift the ribs up high. So your torso is straight, with a little bend at the hips. Hand on the hips, shoulder blades back. Chin is tucked in, lift and lower. One, two, so the only part of your body's moving is the pelvis, three. The spine stays straight the whole time, four. The shoulders are pinched back, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, shin is tucked in, last one, hold for 10, eight, six, four, three, two, one, and rest back down. Perfect, so that's today's express fast song. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit harder, try to work a little bit of stability. If you haven't done any of this, we've tried to ignore using any equipment apart from the circle of the old time. But I want to bring a roller into it because it builds a lot of balance into it and makes things a lot harder, but in a very functional way. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next week. If you have a football next week, that would be great. But if you can use a roller again, we'll use that. So football the rollers for next week's class. See you then. Bye bye.